Tyson Fury claims Deontay Wilder is more of a threat than Anthony Joshua. He reads, 100% Joshua is not dangerous at all. He's a big, cuddly baby. Why would I believe? Why would why would I be a believer when he got knocked out, sparked by Andy Ruiz, a last minute replacement opponent who turned up three hundred pounds or whatever? He didn't train, and actually Joshua couldn't do any good with him in the rematch. He doesn't have anything. He couldn't hold a candle to the Gypsy King. There's only one heavyweight out there that's only one undefeated champion. They've all fallen by wayside. The fellow that hasn't gotten beaten and hasn't got knocked out them all. I'm the only one that hasn't been knocked out. Fury has also switched his initial plan to retire and says, I'm going to fight till I'm 40, Fury said. I've been thinking about it, so yeah, there isn't much else to do anyway. So yeah, I may as well keep fighting. I don't see anyone out there that can be a challenge. I just feel like the best one out there, the toughest opponent out there is Deontay Wilder and we all saw what happened to him last time out. So that's uh, Fury saying Deontay Wilder is really the toughest opponent and that everyone else is bums and Fury Joshua is not a challenge. He'll get sparked out. Now, I think this is slightly Fury trying to obviously promote the third fight um, because why would people watch it if he kept saying Deontay Wilder is no point in fighting him? So he has to promote the third fight. But does Fury truly believe that Joshua is not a challenge? You know, I think Fury truly believes that even with Deontay Wilder losing to him, Deontay Wilder is still the second best heavyweight. I think, I think Fury truly believes that. And it's interesting to see if Fury has the mindset of thinking once he's beaten Deontay Wilder again, that he hasn't got a stress. And that would be a big mistake because t I'm telling you for now, there are plenty of heavyweights that can beat Tyson Fury and that is a fact. That's a fact. Tyson Fury, if you fight till he's 40... Will not go undefeated. He will definitely lose at least three times. That is a fact. Remember I said it here, guys. Remember I said it here? That is a fact. Because this is heavyweight boxing. You know, I, I saw mistakes that he made in the Deontay Wilder second fight. Many people didn't see it, but I saw many mistakes. Because he was puffing. He was tired. He was tired. And it was, what, round seven? He was definitely tired. You know? And for him to just have a style that he's just kind of got to, there's certain people that can penetrate that style of him trying to come forward, that cronk style. People can beat that. People can penetrate because if you're not 100% with it, certain styles can give it trouble. You coming forward. For example, if Tyson Fury fought Derek Chisora, the Derek Chisora now, and he employed that style coming forward, he'd give Derek Chisora more of a chance to get in the fight with him. If he fought Derek Chisora how he usually, how he last fought Derek Chisora in the last fight, where he bashed him up for most of the rounds and just out-jabbed him and mashed him up, made him quit on his stool, he beat him. Do you understand? Styles make fights. So if he changes his style now, that style, that come forward style and trying to be a puncher and trying to knock the guy out, you're going to take more licks. That's, a, that's just a fact. And you've got a cut on your eyebrow, on the top of your eye, that is a bit sensitive. You think someone like Michael Hunter won't be able to just jab this guy to the body, move around, make Fury have to work, get tired. If he comes in 270 pounds, 260 pounds, Michael Hunter will make him work, make him move around. Can Fury maintain that movement coming forward? Or will he revert back to type and try and outbox Hunter? You see, there's only so much, there's only so many people Fury can outbox. And I can't see Fury ever getting back to that weight he was against Klitschko. So will he ever be that natural boxer? Yeah, not everyone's going to be Deontay Wilder and just swinging heavy shots so you can keep evading them like he did in the first fight. No, no, no. Some guys will be calculated with their, with their aggression. They'll be calculated. <laughs> Someone like Dillian White, he can jab. Yeah, he's obviously Fury's got longer arms than him, but Dillian can jab. He's got a consistent jab no matter what, if he misses or not. He'll go, he'll go to the body. And he'll definitely be a live opponent for Fury, who have to work. Same with Usyk. Yeah, Usyk is small, but he can move. And if Fury can't penetrate him coming forward, because, again, it's still a new style for Fury, any mistake at this level, you're out. It's heavyweight boxing. 
He's heavyweight boxing. Even Jerrell Minger. We didn't know how he is after this, you know, off peds. But if he is the same, or he's even a little bit the same, and he keeps marching for, 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 forward, and Fury can't hurt him, that's a long night for Fury. A long night. Trust me. Trust me. And then Joshua. Joshua can punch. Joshua can box. Good inside fighter. Hasn't got the best jab, not the snappiest jab, but a great right hand, great uppercut, great left hook. Great distance. If he can get Fury in the inside and rough him up and make it a dogfight, then it's anyone's game. I I do not doubt that Fury can beat Joshua. I do not doubt that Joshua can beat Fury. I don't doubt that Deontay Wilder can knock Fury out in the next fight. I'm not, I wouldn't, nothing would surprise me. So Fury needs to keep his, his head in the game because this, heavy, this is heavyweight boxing. He should know this. Anything can happen. When's the last time somebody went undefeated? British fighter went undefeated in heavyweight boxing. Tell me. When is the last time a British fighter finished his career undefeated heavyweight champion? No one. It's been a long time anyway. You know what can tell me in the comments, but it's been a long time. So my thing is this. Fury needs to be realistic. Joshua is a live opponent. And, and, and I think Joshua poses more threats than Wilder does for him, stylistically. Yeah, he does. You know? And I see a lot of guys, a lot of contenders giving him problem. We saw Otto Wangen give him problem. Cut or not, he gave him problem. And if you're meant to be the best heavyweight champion, then... You know, you, you, he wasn't really close to stopping Otto Wangen. Let's just be honest. So... It's going to be interesting to see how good Fury is in terms of moving forward. Because my thing is this. When people know your game plan and people know how you fight, there's only a certain amount, there's only a certain amount of time you can use that, 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 get that game plan to beat opponents. Everyone knows you can run around and you can slip shots and count, you know, move around and be elusive. Everyone knows you can do that. But we know you're going to get tired. 9, 10, 11, 12. Fact. Showed it against Wilder. Start becoming fat footed in the first fight, and then you got nailed. So we know he hasn't got the engine he had against Vladimir Klitschko in 2015, which means Fury can get tired. And if Fury adopts his new fighting approach at 270 pounds, 265 pounds, coming forward, if he's got a durable guy that's not going to just lay low and get hurt by his shots, can he keep that pressure for 12 rounds? Especially if they're a mover. Can can Fury beat a mover? Can Fury beat somebody that he can that fights like him that can move around and be elusive? Questions that need to be asked. So I I know there's guys that can beat Fury, and it's not and you know I, I'm not deluding that fact. I know people can beat, and I know Fury can beat those guys as well. It's heavyweight boxing, so I think he should keep focused because if he doesn't, he may lose to Anthony Joshua.